3rd of uh, November 2012. Just uh, let you know what happened at uh, Waitangi um, on the 28th of uh, October. Uh, we had our um, 1835 Declaration of Independence Day. That's for King William IV uh, flag uh, jurisdiction. Uh, so now, after that, uh, we signed the agreement uh, uh, to go and uh, take uh, the title that I put together, you can see on Facebook, uh, to Westminster Parliament. Uh, just arranging finance now uh, with the Arabs, um, investors, investors for the Moai Tidal Energy Project. And so um, uh, to Abdul Malik, thank you very much for sending the contract through. A couple of days ago, so I'm just uh, doing it up now and resetting uh, it, and so that it's uh, uh, okay with our lawyer here, uh, Charles Hesriel, criminal lawyer. Uh, so he's run over it and given me his impressions. Thank him for that too, and also um, Chris, Chris Taylor, um, Price Waterhouse Coopers. So he's um, given me his impressions on the um, investor contract form. So I'm altering the whole thing and like I would anyway and send it back to them today. So um, they're waiting for it and we'll go from there. So we need finance to get ourselves going. Our now I confederation with a confederation flag and um, also to go to Westminster when I come back from uh, London and we go back again to Westminster to meet David Cameron, Prime Minister and uh, since he's the um, direct descendant of King William IV, so he says uh, so try and set up an appointment to see him and to raise our flag there. Once that flag is up, uh, we can start trading straight to Britain and through his government. So our um, contract agreement has, has not been broken, can't be broken because it's extant in the um, statute law in Westminster Parliament, British government still protects us right back from when we uh, made an agreement with our Puhi chiefs up there in uh, Titi. Uh, so this is just joining that up back where we were and start trading. And so that's what we're going to do, get our flag um, uh, reasserted. It's still there in Britain and put our flag up there and start trading between here and uh, Britain. And uh, so we have set all that up in, um, in London and we've got a company there called My Powerhouse Group Limited and so that'll be in pound notes, shares, a billion shares. So that'll get us going. I'll get the um, um, computer register uh, company to do that, administer that and PricewaterhouseCoopers to administer the share, the uh, accounting. So that's all set up. Now all I have to do is take two chiefs from Titi Marae, Kingi and uh, Papa um, Hey Hey. Uh, he can come and we'll go with Chow, the criminal lawyer, uh, to, uh, to uh, Westminster Parliament. I'll set that all up and we're in business. I'm going to start trading with this um, uh, tidal energy project and um, Solid hydrogen jet fuel. We'll get that on, onto the into the um, um, European Union Commission uh, for extra funding for that to um, head off the um, East Cape, North Island, New Zealand. That's where we're putting the uh, the this big turbine platform bridge in the sea. So that's the latest. I just want to let you know what's happening after everybody's wondering what's happened at uh, Te Timorai on our celebrations day on uh, 28th, every year uh, we have our, our um, meeting uh, and renew our, our uh, 
relationship with the uh, uh, British. Uh, so that's us. We've got admiralty law on our side. Once we get that, we'll uh, be using the sea uh, laws uh, under our uh, Strait of Britain. And um, for our ship sitting in Tahiti, uh, we put our flag on and start to go around the world and bring it back here. Uh, so I'm just arranging for that and uh, be operating from Rotten Point uh, Motel. I hope to get that too. And also all our equipment sitting in Taiwan for the hydrogen uh, project. So that's uh, the latest, uh, just want to let you know, all the Māori peoples up there. Uh, what we've got going on, just read, read a few things on my Facebook and you'll see uh, the documents there and also the uh, planning. Uh, so for those, all those people, um, just watching all those people um, signing their settlements, their treaty settlements, once you sign those documents under, under the, the, the law of contracts, because that's what this Confederation flag is, it's a contract, uh, commercial trading flag contract. Right? Once you sign the treaty settlements with the Crown in Wellington and, uh, and the government, and John Key, you're sold. Right? That's all your rights gone and your bit of land gone. So Moai is picking up the whole the whole country and uh, we'll bring some members in and we'll kick this big project off and it is big uh, it's not something you would uh, just shun your nose at so it's taken 12 years to set this one up anyway we got that going we'll bring in membership from anywhere in the world and so it's, it's the Moai, Moai um, title that's the Moai statue it's sitting in Queen Elizabeth this, this, uh, Queen Elizabeth the Second Great Court in London. That's our title. That's the Manga Whenua, you see. So he's there. Our flag is there. Those are two titles. Moai, Manga Whenua, landowner. Okay? That's fixed in time to the uh, uh, Polynesian uh, history, uh, Tahitian, and um, Pacific Triangle. Moo Island, that's what we're claiming with that title I put together. You see it on Facebook. And when it gets signed, when it's finished with the lawyer, he's uh, authenticating it, making it legal. Once that document is legal, boy, it's a very powerful tool. We've got to use that with the flag. Those two instruments together, we go around the world. Okay? So we've got a nice project that can change all our Māori uh, uh, businesses and uh, with the fuel and uh, so we're going to um, put that straight into Britain when we have a meeting with um, David Cameron. I've been working on this uh, European Union Commission uh, outlook looking for new projects, new energy projects and I've been following the uh, LAPCAT, British LAPCAT 300 um, um, hydrogen powered plane. They've got it on the plans there. Boeing's got one too. Uh, aircraft, passenger aircraft to run on solid hydrogen jet fuel when we get this one going. So that's our gateway into the parliament there. Right, we're going to sit in parliament in the lower house. This is the Moai Confederation, the true sovereign landowner of this country, New Zealand. Okay, just to let you know that we ain't mucking around uh, with uh, <coughs> anybody else um, that hasn't got those two titles. And Moai's his title is in New York, Washington. He's in Singapore, here in New Zealand, up here, up the road here, and the museum there. It's one, these, these, are, these are real um, statues of Moai. That's our brand name, patent rights, and our history. It's going back over 3,000 years, so that dates everybody out of this Pacific Triangle area and the Pacific Moai Polynesian uh, uh, Pacific Ring of Fire down the area. Okay, so we've got a title on that. We're waiting for the, the, the Crown to um, re re refute that title claim. The Pope 
the Queen, the Rothschild banks, Evelyn Rothschild, the owner of the, the banks and the, 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 the mastermind behind the 9-11, I'll make that statement on behalf of Moai. He's the mastermind behind all that sandy devastation in the States. Human driven with money from their bank. Right? From his bank. And so we've got a bone to pick with him. We're going to build charge him, the Queen, the Pope, the churches, the everyone who's come on these lands here in the New Zealand and anywhere in the world and have used their documents of title under the Admiralty Law of floating from one side of the world to the other. Right? That's what our flag is. It's got the same powers as the British flag, right? For sailing from one from Britain to everywhere else in the world. So we have the same flag that can do the same thing, sail around the world or fly around the world for that matter when we get our aircraft. Right? So I'll just tell you we have very powerful tool instrument, legal instruments to um, build charge debtor anyone standing in the road. Right? That goes for the iwi here settling with the crown. They're on the chopping block as far as Moai is concerned because they don't have title. The Moai Tahitian has the title to these lands. And if, if they want to try and refute that title that's sitting on Facebook then they'd better do it. It's 21 days, it's just running out. After that, Charles Hesfield, criminal barrister, will use those instruments to pull any single person with a natural name, like John Key, that's his natural name, his company is Her Majesty the Queen of Right of New Zealand. That's his company. See, that belongs to the Queen. Her other company is Buckingham Palace, in brackets, right? That's her private company. She ain't no bowing down to Queen anymore. She's a company director, CEO, just like me, CEO of Moai Powerhouse Group Limited in London. Huh? That's that one. That's the one we're going to hit these ones with, John Key's company, Stingham from there. Okay? And then we've got the other company here, Naatua Ewa Aotea Limited, New Zealand Company. So that company is the world title. All right, that's all I wanted to do uh, and say today, Saturday. And uh, you have a wonderful day. I'm looking forward to going to Westminster Parliament with two chiefs from Puhi, uh, King Taro and Papa Pehe, and King Secretary, and Charles Hesfield and myself. And we're going to deal with it. Put a flag up, come back, we're in business. Thank you very much, have a nice day. Don't forget you aliens, 21 days is running out to go and refute. Tell me a lie, I'm a liar about who owns this place and the world, and refute it. If you don't, actually we do. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye for now.